Hello, goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. So you're a few months into your season, and you should know your coaches and teammates pretty well. You should also have a good sense of what type of coach you'll have for the season. The best coaches pay no attention to their goalies. They understand that goalies are from another planet, and they have no business there. The really, really good coaches won't even look at you or acknowledge your existence. Yo, I heard Nick did great the shirt yesterday. Who's Nick? I don't know. Some dude that shows up in a fat suit and just steals from a concession stand. Oh, okay. Some of us, however, are not so lucky, and we have to deal with shitty coaches. These nosy, misinformed divorcees try to show off how wise they are about hockey by trying to change the way you play goalie. These guys are not afraid to pepper their terrible advice on us whenever they can. Hey man. You're doing great. You're a great goalie, and I don't want to change that. But when you get a block side shot, instead of dropping to your knees and deflecting it to the corner, why don't you just stay standing up and flail your entire body to one side and scream, Death to America! Because they didn't know this, you know? Are you sure that's the best way to handle that? Now here's the thing. It's great you have an opinion, but you work for me now. And I know you're all, is this the best way to handle that? It doesn't fucking matter what you think. Fuck you. I'm just saying, I mean, I think you that... You ain't got the answers, Nick! I'm sure many of you out there have had that exact same conversation. Well, that ends now. Because in Goalie Smarts episode 11, I'm going to teach you how to deal with shitty coaches. Step one, bait and switch. Be a peacemaker and do whatever your coach says whenever he's around you. Play like Jerry Cheevers, never use a butterfly, and act interested whenever he tells you about his ISIS meetings. But when he's not around, do the exact opposite. Oh, hey coach. Yeah, I was just reading up on how Westerners are nothing more than fat, spoiled pigs. That's my boy! Fucking right. Step two, get out of his way. Do your best to stay under the radar so he can focus on everyone but you. Make sure you do your best during games and practices, but only so he can yell at everyone but you. After all, there is no better feeling as a goaltender than to watch your team get chewed out while you sit around and eat popcorn. Your back checking is horrible! What are you doing? You make the one first on expense watch window and fuck my grandmother! How do you sleep at night? Step three, educate him. The worst thing your coach will do, hopefully, is force you to play like it's the 80s. This is because the 80s were the best years of his life. Maybe you won't be able to persuade him to let you play like a 2017 goalie right away. But you can slowly acclimate him to modern technology to get him to move with the times. Introduce him to things like cell phones and Twitter and see what that does. Hey man, this Twitter stuff is great. Like, I've just been tweeting what's on my mind, no matter how many deaths I get. And when that gets out of hand, remind him that being racist isn't cool in 2017. Step four, get the fuck out of there. Your coach is clearly out of his mind and you need a safer environment. Search Google up and down to see if there are any teams hosting tryouts halfway through their season. If you can find any offer, take it, even if it's a mite team or a woman's team and you're a guy. Literally anything is better than where you are right now. Hi, uh, I'm calling because I'm wondering if you guys need a smart, handsome goalie to play on your team. Oh, uh, no, nah, man. I think we're all set. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, we got a pretty good goalie. Oh. Uh, please? My coach belongs to ISIS. Mm. As always, guys, thank you for listening. If you would like to see my latest sketch on the buff comedy, click right here. If you'd like to buy some Guillaume Duclair apparel, click right here. I'm Guillaume Duclair. I'm out. Mm.